welcome to another episode of She Likes It Hard. I'm Alyssa. I'm Chastity. How y'all doing today? Let us know. You got 10 seconds. Okay. Two seconds. Please. <laughs> Last time I said they had 10 seconds, I, I counted. When you I was did like two, two it was seconds. Like two. It literally was. And I was like, dag, I'm terrible. I am just so terrible. Um, I think that was 10 though, this time. Oop, we struggling. <laughs> there we go. All right, we're okay. Um, Chastity, how are you? I'm doing well. Um, my mama, mom came to visit me. In um, mm. which I don't even know why she came. <laughs> Low key. Because it's like she came here because she's going to her new place. And she literally drove here last night, woke up, and then left to drive the rest of the way to her new place. And I was like, okay. And then her new place is only like an hour and a half, two hours away. So I'm like, you could have just drove all the way there. Yeah, she just needed a pit stop. I'm like, okay. Rest her eyes. I'm like, you could have drove in the time, in the daytime. <laughs> she just wanted to rest her eyes and see you. Like, your mama so, I don't know. You. My parents are crazy. I don't know. I don't know. How you been? I've been exhausted. Tired? Yeah. Like, not even tired. I've just been very exhausted with, like, work um, and the people at work. Um, <laughs> and the people at work. And then... I've been exhausted with men. I think everyone knows that, that I have just been like, just so over it. Men are just, I, I was telling my friend this, like, I don't think men under, I, or maybe it's just a me thing. I am very scared of men. I'm actually very, like, and a lot of people say like, in a joking, I'm actually like, I'm not joking at all. I'm actually very scared of men. Not like I'm scared they're going to do something to me more. So I don't think men understand the power that they hold on women or that they can <laughs> um, when it comes to like hurting our feelings or like putting us into like a mental spiral um, for something as simple as they just don't want to talk to us or like they leave us on red or they decide that they want to cheat on their own girlfriend and use you to do it or their wife and use you to do it it's like i I don't like i was fine (laughs) nobody i didn't ask you to bother me i didn't ask you to come talk to me i didn't ask you to walk over here i didn't want to get into your triangle of mess it's not what i wanted (laughs) um so i am like yeah I'm, i'm truly i'm scared of men and i like they're very exhausting so I think I'm truly like, I say this all the time. Um, I say this all the time, but I think I'm truly just gonna take a break. Round for a three, long fight. While. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like every time I say this, some guy like, like just walks his little li- his little legs into my life and like makes me get a little bit excited and I give up on my whole taking a break from men. But I think this time, like, I don't know if somebody gonna get me out of it, unless it's like a very apparent that you're about to be my husband. But like, I don't. I'm. I'm exhausted. The conversation is tired. <laughs> Moving on to what, what? we're talking about. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> the conversation is tired. Like, how many no, episodes are we going to say this? I'm trying to, like, be <laughs> sentimental with her. And she just be like, I'm done. I'm over it. It's tired. <laughs> like, it. throw it away. We're tired of talking about it. Have I said that before? I yes, ma'am. Know. Like, okay, maybe I have. All right. <laughs> As part of the She Likes It Hard committee, we're tired. <laughs> we're okay, well. Pack right, it up. We're not talking about it then. <laughs> no, JK. You're Fuck not. Them. You're not. You're not poke, joking. Poke. You're not joking. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, I guess we're going to get into the hard ass since my conversation's tired. Ask. I'm a little sad if you saw my face on YouTube. Um, so it says, hi, ladies, you both have mentioned you have packed up and moved to another state. Can you guys give some tips on how to pick where you want to move? What things need to be done, switched over, done or switched over when you get there? And just overall advice on packing up and moving away. You want to do it? go first? Mm. Well, I guess we'll break it up. Um, tips on how to pick where you want to move. So we'll break this up into parts. How did you pick? I always feel bad because I don't really have advice. (laughs) Because I literally just got up and left. Like, I didn't have a plan at all. So, So, but like, what made you come here? Was it because you had some family here? No, I was going to go to Georgia. 
So when I graduated school, I either wanted to go to Minnesota, Minnesota, mm-hmm. sorry, or Georgia. Okay. Um, in which I wanted to go to Georgia because I actually no, I either wanted to go. Sorry, I wanted to go to New York or Georgia, okay. but I knew I didn't want to go to New York immediately because I didn't want to be broke, broke. Like okay. I could be like. I could be like start off broke in the South, but I didn't want to be like New York broke. Mm-hmm. I feel like there are two different things, especially back then. And I was like, Mm-mm. so yeah. I just was like, okay, I'll go to Georgia and then get a job and what I want to do. And then once I get experience, I move to mm-hmm. New York. Yeah. That's the next place you want to go to. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm uh, mine. I visited, I visited Atlanta once and I was like, Oh, like this isn't bad. I could see myself here. Um, and then, so the reason I moved here was because of the job, but I had options of where I wanted to go. And it was like, I've been in Dallas and it was cool. Um, but it was a time difference and the flight was too far to get back and forth. Or it was too expensive to go back and forth, um, from, from like Dallas to Cleveland. Um, Florida, I was just over it. Those like, but the only three places I had on my mind that I was like, I could see myself living there, not like just visiting, but like actually living there was Dallas, um, Atlanta, and then, um, Orlando. And I just, I just didn't really want to go to Florida, um, cause I, humidity is not, <laughs> and I'm not really a hurricane person. So I was like, no, I'm okay. Oh my God. Um, I was just talking about that to somebody. I was like, I would never move yeah. to Florida. That's why I think like, <laughs> I am that's one of the reasons why i'm also very like reluctant to leave cleveland is because we don't really have natural disasters and knock on wood <laughs> uh, this is not what this is like plaster <laughs> um, but um like knock on wood but like we do have tornadoes here and there but it's not as bad as like we don't live in tornado alley like so natural disasters aren't really like huge there we just got snow like lake effects and, like, <laughs> and i grew up with that like i deal with it which i guess if i grew up around hurricanes i would like well, I'd have a different touche. perspective. Yeah. But um yeah, like the not the fire, the forest fires, no, nah, like all the, the earthquakes, <laughs> like so I didn't really want to go anywhere that had like any crazy natural disaster. So that's why I picked Atlanta, um, because I visited there. I like the vibe. And so yeah. So then the second part of your question or the, yeah, second part, what things need to be done or switched over when you get there? Make a list first. <laughs> Do do a search because I'm pretty sure it's probably not the same for every single state. Um, I will say I'll, I'll tell you a little story. What happened <laughs> to me? It was a fun time. So when I moved to Atlanta, no one told me that if you get pulled over by the police and they ask you like why you're in their state with a whole other oh, state's um, license plate, <laughs> you tell them you're either just visiting. Or you just moved here. Oh so God. I get pulled over. And this was like a year after I've already been here. I was already planning on leaving. Like I literally had a whole thing like lined up to like get out of here. And the uh, the cop pulls me over and he's like, hey, like I see you have Ohio license plate. Like what are you doing here? Because I was driving back from Ohio. I was, it was on a road trip back from Cleveland. And it was like two, like maybe five minutes after I crossed the Georgia border. And he's like, oh, hey, where are you going? Like, where are you headed? Which I always wonder, do you have to tell them? No. Okay. Um, but he's like, hey, where are you headed? And I was just like, um, uh, <laughs> just driving. back to my apartment. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like back to my apartment. He's like, well, where do you live? I'm like, Atlanta. He's like, well, how long have you lived here? And not knowing this man is like getting me in a trap. Didn't know it. Didn't know it. Yeah. And so he's like, how long have you been here? And I was like, um, since I'm talking too much. <laughs> what i do what i do um it's like um almost a year and he's like you know you're supposed to have your stuff switched over um within 30 days and i was like no i i didn't know that like that that's just not something that i knew and he's like um yeah so he pulled he actually pulled me over for speeding and so um I was like really speeding. He was like, so I'm not going to give you a speeding ticket because my license also wasn't a Georgia license. So you're supposed to get that switched over to. And um, he, I was just like, I am moving eventually and yada, yada. And he was just like, look, I'm not going to give you a ticket but, or a, a ticket for speeding, but I am going to give you a citation for um, your plate and your license. As long as you get those switched over and you show proof, you don't have to pay, or you still have to pay, but you don't. Um, or you have to show this within like 30 days or something. So me knowing I'm moving, like I'm like going back to Cleveland, I'm like, I'm not about to do all of this. So I had to go through this whole debacle with the court, like and prove that like I'm leaving. Like I had to show up my job offer. I had to show him like taxes. And then this was like during the uh, Trump and Biden thing. Um, 
the uh, the president, pres- oh my gosh, presidential election. And so the I went to a court office uh, because I was like literally five minutes across the border. I went to this court office where they're like questioning if I was in Georgia just to vote for. Oh my god! I was like I. I, I voted in Ohio. Like, I had to prove to them that I literally <laughs> voted in Ohio. I was like, I don't even, like, I literally, my taxes are filed in Ohio, like, all this stuff. So, like, I had to show them all this stuff. But, um, so, yeah, those are some things you need to, I think that's everywhere you move. Um, and you do have to pay a, f- a fee when you get new tags. Oh, yeah. Which is pretty expensive. So, think about that. Um, but, yeah, those are, so... The stuff with your car, your license, and you got switched over. What other things would you need to get switched over when you moved? It says, like, doctors. I think that's, like, the most important stuff. Yeah. Doctors, like, insurance. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, I think moving is more than what people think. I mean, it's more in your head than it is what it is. Mm-hmm. Uh, like, you just get there and you figure it out like you yeah. would if you were at home and you moved to a new apartment. Like, I feel like it's the, for me, it feels like it's the same. It's mm-hmm. just a new place. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know. Like if you move to a new neighborhood in your state, you still have to do kind of the same things besides like change your like plates or whatever, mm-hmm. but you would have to transfer your doctors. You would like, it yeah. was, it's the same thing. So mm-hmm. I feel like people get in their head about moving and it's really just moving. Just go. Yeah. If you want to go somewhere, I don't care if you just thought the thing, the building was cute. Just go. You can always mm-hmm. come back every, just, every time someone's like, Oh, I think I want to move, but I don't know. I'm always like, well, you can go back. Oh yeah. I like you can, that. Yeah. You can literally go back. Yeah. I think I even told you that you can yeah. go back. <laughs> that's good advice. Yeah, that's really good advice because she did say overall and like packing up and just moving away, like leave. You can go back. Right. No mind. one is holding you hostage yeah. in the place that you moved to, so you can literally go back to Especially wherever now, you came they from. Have, like they have thirty what month to month leases. They have six months. So I mean, give yourself six months if you want to leave. Yeah. leave. I'm not saying it's gonna be cheap to pack right. up and leave again if, yeah. you, if you do all this extra stuff. But if you want to leave, you can definitely leave. Yeah. And moving <laughs> is not cheap y'all like it's not even like well if you take everything it's not well right if you take your stuff if you get a u-haul like you need movers like it's not cheap so it is it's it's an investment yeah. like i mean even thinking about the gas that you have to pay <laughs> to get to the other state like it's, yeah it's a little pricey but i i do i do think people should just get up and go yeah i mean for me i literally just packed what i could in my car and then left mm-hmm. <laughs> like oh yeah it, moving is is exp- is as expensive as you want it to be and it is as loose expensive as you want it to be yeah like moving down here to atlanta was not as expensive moving back up because when <laughs> i moved down here i didn't i actually didn't have any furniture um i just bought it all when i got here i thought that would have been stupid to buy it in cleveland and then move it down <laughs> here i just bought it all when i got here um and they set all that stuff up but then when i left i like wanted to keep everything so i then had to get a bigger U-Haul. <laughs> i had to actually hire some real movers to move all this stuff like into the trucks and then when i got to cleveland from the truck to my storage unit and all this kind of stuff so it's yeah it can get pretty expensive but it depends on how much you take in so but yes honey get up and go <laughs> Please, please live for you for our sake. Yes, live for you. Let us know how it goes <laughs> and where you decide. Because oh, yeah. I mean, just I don't know. Pick a place you've been to. Pick a place you like. You could see yourself. Think about the vibe. Are you looking for a nightlife? Nightlife. Go to like Atlanta, Miami, L.A. Those kind of places. Expensive. Are you looking for a nice, like, <laughs> adventurous, chill? Go to Denver or what's another place that's adventurous and chill? Maybe like. Oh, nightlife also Vegas. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, maybe like Denver. I think Dallas is really nice. Um <laughs> I love Dallas. I love me some Dallas. Um San Antonio, Chattanooga. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so Cleveland. <laughs> Do not move to Cleveland. <laughs> Alyssa literally talks crap about Cleveland. I don't think I heard I her do. say one positive thing about Cleveland. I'd be like, hmm, I should visit and then she'd be like, nah, 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 really nah. any natural disasters. And I'd be like I should not visit Cleveland. 
We should not. Okay. We have really good food. I will say that. <laughs> Cleveland has really good food. So if you're a foodie, go to Cleveland. Because that's literally all we do, like, is eat and go to sporting events. So, yeah, food, if you that's the place you're trying to, or that's where you're trying to get to, is just be around food. Cleveland, go to Cleveland. Mm. So, yeah. But, yeah, if anybody else has any questions that they want to ask us, for the hard ask, email us at she likes it hard at gmail, podcast at gmail.com. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, it is not podcast. She likes it. No, yes, yeah, it is. Okay. Oops. Mm-hmm. I'm mixing stuff up. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. All right. So, what are we getting into today? We are talking about. Here I go again. Chelsea, what are we talking about? <laughs> We're talking about investing in yourself. I was still on 34. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because that's why I said I couldn't wear <laughs> Yeah, I literally had, like, y'all probably see it in the next episode, but it's literally, like, some leggings and an oversized black t-shirt. <laughs> and I was like, Jesse, I cannot talk about investing in your image in this outfit. I just can't. <laughs> like, people go look at me like I'm crazy. Like, I can't. Um, okay, so investing in your image. Chastity, what do you think your personal image is? You know, I don't know. What, how about you tell me what you think about images? Oh, oh like, your images? Yeah, like, what do you think I'm giving off? What am I giving? You give off... No, chic, chic comfort. Period. Because you are the person <laughs> that will wear a whole nice outfit in either some flats <laughs> or some cracks. And I'd just be so confused. Because she is worried about her comfort, especially on her feet. Like, so, I'm, I'm, it, it gives chic comfort. Period. Yeah. That, that's, what I, that's what I see as your <laughs> image. I'm just talking, I'm, we're talking wardrobe when we talk about personal image. Um, or, well, no, for wardrobe, we talk. That's that's what I get from you for wardrobe. Your, like, I guess facial image or, like, image that you go for. <laughs> you, try, you go for, like, natural. Because even when you do your makeup, you try and make sure that you highlight your features. Like, you don't try and, like, draw them out or anything. Um, so, yeah. You go for very natural, like facial image <laughs> <laughs> and body image like you don't really try and do too much with Mm-mm, you're gonna get what you got yeah <laughs> <laughs> so yeah i i think i'll agree that's what i that's why i try to go for okay i give off i want to be chill i want to relax we can have fun i know mm-hmm. how to get dressed if i want to get dressed mm-hmm. like i'm trying to give you that i'm a girl of versatility okay. um so yeah that's what i try to persuade so bit. then what's my image since you made me give you yours oh no <laughs> right you shouldn't ask that question because <laughs> now i'm curious i mean i feel like you so your wardrobe but you give off put together there okay. we go okay so your it. wardrobe is put together um yeah I, you just look put together okay i'll take that. like you know what you're doing like if I was like if I needed help I would ask you. That's crazy because I be I know. struggling. When I was I, talking to Malika about this. I was like, you know, some of my friends look like they have it together, but they just do not have it together. And I was like, I don't know what that's about, but they just look so like they got it together. I would literally, if I needed help, I would be like, Oh my god, could you help me to this person? <laughs> and they just don't have it together. <laughs> you see, I think that's more of a compliment on my little sister thing because she helps me put like, my entire outfits. In. Like I don't leave the house before I get her advice on how I look for cer- except for work because I don't really care. I'm weak. Um, but um, yeah, like she helps me put together all my outfits. Like she will let me know if my hair is not together like <laughs> um but i do but i guess i do go for that look that's why i always go to her because i always do want to look put together so yeah <laughs> that's my personal image guys i'm put weak. together <laughs> so what i one thing i wanted to say about like let's get into it one thing mm-hmm. i wanted to say about like self-image and um investing in yourself is honestly people judge you off of your looks mm-hmm. um you do it i do it we all do it i don't care what you're trying to say, you just do. Do um, you think it's wrong? No. No? Okay. No. I mean, so, if we think about... Let's get a little scientific. Okay. <laughs> if we think about why people use stereotypes, why people use um, kind of, like, 
looking at someone digesting them down it's mm-hmm. because they are looking for is, per, is this person safe is this person approachable is this someone i can relate to mm-hmm. this is these are all things you're like looking at when you look at somebody yeah so judging someone based off of their, like your kind of first look at them i don't think it's wrong but i'll but i think it can be wrong if that makes sense okay so i don't think it's wrong because it's like okay what else are you gonna go off of Mm -hmm. (laughs) it's like i don't know you you don't know me it's not like i could be like oh this person has a really good personality let me look at their stats above their head i think yeah "Yeah, this is this is great Mm -hmm. this is the person that i need to ask for help no you don't know you just look at somebody and you're like okay like when you go into the target store you look for the person in red and khakis that's the person you know who's gonna help you so no but i do think sometimes it can be wrong because an example, <laughs> back when I was in college, I studied fashion, basically. Mm-hmm. Sum it down, I studied fashion. Um, and in this class, I took a new class and I was talking to people about the professor because I had t- taken her class before. And I was like, oh yeah, she's like really cool. She dresses super nice. Like she always comes in and she just looks good. Like, the, like that's a bad professor right mm-hmm. there. And then so like, she comes into the class and she's like in fucking pajamas and i was like <laughs> i was literally was change your whole like outlook on yeah until so everybody was like looking like what like is that a professor like mm-hmm. everyone was confused and it was because she had on pajamas right and so the class that we were taking was the psychology of like dress or clothes or whatever oh, so she did on purpose. yeah she okay. did it on purpose Good. and then she was like everybody was like what is going on like yeah. and it made every it caused the reaction everybody was confused everyone didn't know if she was the professor or not mm-hmm. people assumed that it was going to be a laid-back class because of like what she had on mm-hmm. later in the class um she didn't say anything thing until like halfway through halfway through she's like i'm just kidding this is not my actual dress and she took off her clothes and she had on like a stylish all black outfit like how she usually is and then everybody's like oh and she was like so how did everyone feel she asked everyone and they were like i just didn't know if you were a professor or not Mm -hmm. i was confused on why you had this on blah blah blah." like it just makes you have a different um approach to someone yeah but you're saying that was bad like why was it because so people people judged her harshly they didn't it wasn't positive views that she got being a professor coming into the thing as a oh so you're not saying it can be bad if you judge someone on their personal image it's more so bad if you don't have your own personal image put together i'm saying both because yeah. like let's say if she was having a lazy day and mm-hmm. she decided to come in like that and then we all judge and then we all didn't know her quotations and we judged her off of this and we Mm -hmm. thought this is the way she was going to be and it wasn't Mm -hmm. we don't know that like that's not who that person is this is just what they decided to show up in today right if that makes sense no yeah that makes sense um but also on the flip side it's like yes it's bad for us to do it because like i said you don't know Mm -hmm. so hmm. yeah i mean like i was talking to somebody at work (laughs) um a couple weeks ago and we were just talking about um just how we dress in how we like sometimes want to like look a little nice from the office or yada yada because I, t- I i don't look like a bum in the office but like <laughs> i'd never wear makeup in the office my hair is never down it's usually in a slicked back <laughs> bun like a whole different person whole di- like <laughs> nothing to really accentuate my body figure like a whole different person and I, we were just talking about the fact of like if somebody at work saw me out they probably would not recognize me like and it's not even like me being dramatic like oh it's a night no it's really a night and day like literally (laughs) like my eyes are usually puffy at work and like i it's me i'm picking and choosing when i invest in my personal image because i want people to perceive me a certain way so in work i don't want them to which i feel like i guess if i look put together outside of work i should probably want to look put together in work (laughs) um but i think i still look put together but like i i want them to perceive me as more professional take me more seriously um i don't want to just be every other woman (laughs) um, out here um in the workplace like just looking like i'm looking for attention i want i want the men to take me seriously so i invest in a very like conservative like <laughs> personal image of myself in work and then like when i'm out and about i'm a whole new person, whole new person. <laughs> actually my stylish um my style what is it 
muse right oh What's yeah this? Muse. my stylish muse which is really bad i think it's probably bad but my stylish muse is actually kim kardashian oh, kim when fuck? she was with kanye like like okay. that was that was my you know what's funny is she did not style herself right <laughs> but that's why i'm like it's probably bad and it's kind of like they'd be taking stuff from you know like no us. literally kanye so, style kim kardashian right but that was like that was literally like what i that's what i would go for like in my normal day not at work but um yeah so excuse me i think like um it, you should invest in your personal image and you definitely should um make your personal image fit what you're trying to go for it's okay if you sw- switch <laughs> up your personal image here and there um it doesn't have to be consistent and i don't know yeah exactly i mm-hmm. i do agree i think that what you're trying to go for should be what you're advertising mm-hmm. so like if um for example if you are trying to like fit in with I can't think of anything. Why am I holding? Are we talking like I'm, the, I'm just give me a group? <laughs> oh, uh, gothic people. Yeah, if you were trying to fit in with the gothic crew mm-hmm. and you are like, oh yeah, this is like my crew. This is what I want to be like. These are the type of people I'm trying to grab attention to. These are the type of people I'm going to sell to. Mm-hmm. It wouldn't make sense if someone dressed like me was like, oh yeah, I'm trying to sell these things to the gothic crew. Like mm-hmm. this is, I feel like this is your aesthetic. This is this and this, and then it's like. You look. You would look at me and be like, "How do I know? Mm-hmm. How do I have the expertise on this? Like, what are you saying? Like, you're li- ba- judging me based off of what I'm looking like. If mm-hmm. I'm looking like a pocket full of sunshine and rainbows, how can I really tell you that these are the influences? These are right. this. I'm really into this. Like, right. you would never know. Um, and yeah, like I really like the um example that you wrote down when we were initially talking about this the uh netflix sh- i don't know what the show was actually called um but with anna v- anna delvey how she like oh, wanted yeah. the people to perceive her and like if she was wearing sweats or something that like it just didn't give luxury if she was wearing a fashion nova outfit like the people wouldn't have taken her seriously that is the way she was that's the reason she was able to hustle so many oh, yeah. people is because she her personal image she invested in that she really did <laughs> and she played the part she got in where she fit in baby right because that fashion over dress they would have been like get out of here or some pay less shoes like <laughs> <laughs> no you need the not even louis vuitton she was wearing like some different i don't even know <laughs> some stuff i can't afford so i don't yeah. know i mean called. yeah like anna Delvey is a good example mm-hmm. um because like like you said she was trying to hustle these certain type of people she was trying to merge into this certain type of group Mm -hmm. and she knew like we all know that certain types of groups will not let you in if you don't look like what they want you to look like right and they can really (laughs) recognize certain things like even if both two people are wearing a plain black dress they can tell which one is like you can afford to be here and the other one can't yeah and i also think um it's important to think about not only is like your self image and investing in your self image, your clothes and what you're wearing, but it's also like your skincare. It's mm-hmm. also the way you speak to people. It's yeah. also, it's kind of what you eat, what you know about like your thoughts, your cuisine, like mm-hmm. what you're interested in. And so all of this goes into your public image. So right. if someone asks you a question about something that is a relevant topic in the group that you're trying to be into or something that you're trying to be about and you have no idea what it is, it's mm-hmm. an automatic red flag. Like, oh no, Alyssa does not, yeah. she don't, she's faking, it's a right. facade. Yeah. So I think it's very important to notice that, which is why people like code switches, which is why people like, oh, I gotta wear my hair like this for the interview mm-hmm. because I don't want them to judge me for this. Right first impressions Mm -hmm. yeah and something that i really like that you were saying is that personal image isn't just about wardrobe like things like skincare i have probably the worst skincare routine (laughs) i just don't have one um so like my i that is a personal image that i need to invest in that's something i haven't gotten to and i will probably get to eventually um but yeah your personal image doesn't just have to be about your wardrobe it could be your hair like I mean, at my job, this kid, he was shadowing, um, I guess his parent worked at the company and he came in and he was dressed not (laughs) what typically you would think a corporate person would be. He was in high school, so I was kind of a little slack there, but he had like red dreads, 
fiery red dress had on a like <laughs> basketball like shirt like <laughs> the first impressions he probably made were probably he probably scared some people because i was really confused i was i was confused because i'm like who is this like why like it was like oh, i feel like i would get yelled at if my heels were too high <laughs> who is this person that's just walking around with these fiery dreads like in this baseball shirt and some ripped jeans like i was just so confused but um like the the impressions that he probably gave like he probably had people thinking he wasn't like inv- like the personal image that he had didn't fit the company like so you want to invest in your personal image to not only like yeah you do want to fit your environment <laughs> but i like the fact that he was so comfortable in his own personal image that he I don't care if I'm around all these white people in corporate America. Yeah. I'm going to look how I want to look. And exactly. I, I, I really like that. Yeah. You mm-hmm. attract what you give off. Mm-hmm. So like Alyssa, she gives off that she's reserved and put together. And people like to have people around that are structured and like <laughs> have things going on and Sorry, like know what they're doing. Like yeah. if that's what someone's just looking for and they feel and they get that vibe from you and they get that pull from you because mm-hmm. they can see it in what you display then that's where you're gonna get so that's why y'all keep me around no huh. but we just we just talk about how you look put together but you aren't <laughs> um i'm just kidding <laughs> Alyssa is put more put together than a lot of people let comments. me not like shit on you <laughs> i was gonna say i wonder how many comments i just put on you no. um oh, i wonder how many comments after like this episode people will be like dad is so mean to Alyssa." <laughs> It's okay. I mean, everyone. Um, but yeah, so like being the thing that you want to be in. So I'm not saying you have to like mm-hmm. be all like hair laid, eyes done, teeth straight, blah, blah, blah. Like if that's not what you want to give off, that's mm-hmm. just not what you want to give off. Yeah. So I think people, I'm just saying that people need to be aware of what they give off. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Because you attract, you're attracting it. You're really attracting it. Like the days where I, I'm like dressed like a bum and just are like slogging around. Anybody just comes up to me and mm-hmm. is like, hey, blah, blah, blah. Let's talk about this and this and this. And that's usually it's not the people I'm trying to talk to. It's mm-hmm. usually not the people that I'm interested in speaking to. Right. But you it, can't be confused. Right. Right. So it's like now I'm confused for something that I'm not trying to get in, not yeah. trying to be a part. So I think investing in your image is important mm-hmm. because it's like you're investing in a part of where you want to go. Mm hmm. <laughs> no i like i like that because i do think a lot of people a lot of times like they don't they can be so confused it's like uh have you looked at yourself clearly? <laughs> like this might be why this is the attention that you're getting because it's not no um so yeah definitely take the time and, and understand and be aware of the personal image that you are giving off because if it's not yeah, what you want to get off yeah if it's not what you want to get off you know you can change it first of all and then go change it because like and I mean, literally, the reason I don't know why Kim Kardashian is my muse, <laughs> but or that era of Kim Kardashian my, is my muse. But I really, I think it's more so the colors that she always wore were uh, earth tones, and I find earth tones, uh, uh, earth tones, to be very calming. So I always, and I think like the really tight shirt with the baggy sweatpants and some heels, <laughs> like that. I felt like that was just such a like. I'm weak. I, I'm I'm chill, but I can be cute. I'm chill, but I can be cute. So, like, that was the image I was trying to get off. I really wanted to give off, like, this calm, like, just serene person. So, I, I, like, do the research on the kind of image that you want to give off. Like, just look up some people that you think, um, like, I mean, if you want an image of, like, fun or um, boss boss bitch. <laughs> I'm sorry, mom. Um, oh, if you want to give off that image, like... I would probably start looking up pictures of what Rihanna wears, what Beyonce wears, even Oprah. Yeah. Like, I mean, mix and match, like, because those are some, some boss ladies. So, <laughs> um, yeah, like I would, I would do some research on what the people that you find to have the, um, aura, the personality, like the, that, that whatever they have that is giving off this, like, Ooh, I want to be like that. Just go look up what they wear and like, start making it your own. You don't got to do exactly that. But yeah. Make it what they wear, how they speak, what mm-hmm. they eat. Yeah. Um, if yeah. it's, if it's something you're attracted to and it's something that you want in your life, you have to mode into that thing to mm-hmm. get there and to be there. And then you don't have to like, when I say mode, I don't mean like be completely yeah, yeah be someone else informed yeah. there. You just have to find 
find how it, how you can make that you, how you can make this image you, how you can make, oh, I want to be that girl who has her hair straight, blah, 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 all the time, but mm-hmm. I can't afford to do that or I don't want my hair to be messed up. Okay, yeah. how can you get there? Mm-hmm. How can you get that image? Right. It might be something as simple as doing your edges a different way. <laughs> It'll give off some, I'm, I'm sometimes edges, the way you do your edges, you're going to give off a different vibe. Like, um, the way you straighten your hair, curl, I'm sure like the, some episodes you see me with straight hair, some episodes you see me with curly hair and it's like, it's a different, I'm a different vibe those days. Like, so, I mean, and you can change your own personal image day to day and go back and forth. Like you ain't got to be one person all the time. Like I said, I go to work one way and I come home the next, like a week. Yeah. Yeah, so our quote for today title is called Power of Personal Appearance. As an individual living and working in a highly complex and competitive society, you must recognize and understand the impact of your appearance as it communicates first to you and then to others. What you wear and the way you look and the way you look affects one, the way you think, two, the way you feel, three, the way you act or behave, and then four, the the way others react or respond to you. Mm. While it is important to like what you wear and the way you look, it is more important to understand why or why not and specifically how this affects you, others, and your life and the achievement of your goals. I kind of like that, how I pointed out the achievement of your goals, like how you run your own image. It's, yeah, it's going to get you to where you're trying to get to. It, it, it will, or it'll keep you from getting there. Um, what was the first sentence? As an individual living and working in a highly complex and competitive society, you must recognize and understand the impact of your appearance as it communicates first to you and then to others. Okay. So I feel like that's like what we said, like it's just reassuring what we said and yeah, the way you think, feel act or behave oh there's where it was mm. yes the way you feel also i wanted to talk about that because okay. people be like oh i didn't feel good today so like i threw oh. this on i just threw something on today mm-hmm. and i don't i feel like that doesn't help for when i personally do it it doesn't help that i feel like crap and then i look like crap and mm-hmm. i didn't put any effort in my day it's like you can just see it all over me and i feel like crap because mm-hmm. i can see that i'm just having a crappy day i look in the mirror i'm like dang <sighs> i just look thrown away today yeah. like this is just not my day today yeah. is not it and so i feel like when you want to feel good for me at least i'm like okay i want you know what i'm having a crappy day but i'm not gonna let this day have me mm-hmm. like i'm gonna get up i'm gonna get dressed i'm gonna just go outside just so i can you know, get a smoothie or something yeah. just so that i can feel like oh i'm doing something like, yeah, like put a brush to your head or, yeah because yeah. like when you look at yourself and you see that you're doing bad it doesn't ignite positive feelings mm-hmm. to you like you look at yourself and you're like yeah. But if you're having a bad day and you look at yourself and you put some effort into your, you're like, oh, well, at least I don't look bad today. Mm-hmm. Like, at least I try to do this. Or you go outside and you're having a bad day and someone compliments you. Oh, well, thank you. I yeah. needed that today. Like, yeah. you're not going to get something like that or some needed inspiration if you're not even trying to inspire your own self. Right. And a way that I really like to invest in my personal image outside of like my clothes. Um, because sometimes I will say when I put on makeup because I'm feeling like a little crappy because I think it's supposed to help me. It doesn't necessarily (laughs) help me, but it doesn't make me feel worse. If I don't, if I stay with my hair looking crazy, it usually makes me feel worse. But if I put on makeup, it'll like help a little bit, but it don't really do much. But, um, I will say when something that I think is truly investing in your own image is your health and, um, like mind, body, soul experience. So I like to go to the gym. I think that's a really good way of like investing in your, if you are into going to the gym. Mm -hmm. Um, I think that's a good way of investing into your personal appearance because not only one does it, it's going to help how you look. Cause it's like, I want to f- lose some fat sometimes. Um, but also working out releases endorphins. So a lot of times it'll make you feel better. So, um, when you are releasing endorphins, you become happier, you're less stressed, like those kinds of things. So, um, the, the light that you give off your personal image, like the smiles, like all that kind of stuff, your aura, it like improves. So that's a good way to also, um, invest in your personal images, go and just, you know, pick up some weights. Oh some yeah. Curls. Something that I saw like on TikTok, um, I can't remember who posted it. 
I tried. Um, <laughs> it was um, like it was a video, and in the first part of the video, it was like the person walked in into a room, and then they like looked down. They didn't like look around the room. They didn't like embrace everyone. They didn't smile. Oh, okay. They just came in. Mm-hmm. And then the second video, same person. They re-enter the room. They look around. They smile. They they like um, walk to where they're going confidently and then people like gravitate towards them they want to talk to you because you've given you're giving off of energy that oh you're approachable Mm -hmm. oh you're confident oh you want to be bothered today like Mm -hmm. you want to be talked to today and i think it's important to like realize what you're giving off Mm -hmm. (laughs) no and that's really important that's something i am like trying my hardest to work on because i have not figured it out yet because people always (laughs) people always tell me that my the the my face i don't know <laughs> whatever i'm giving off is like i am very unapproachable i don't know what it is but we told me that like, really yeah, about me? yeah okay so, <laughs> and i i've been hearing he this was like, for like years looks me <laughs> i've been hearing this for years and i'm just like i think that's part of my problem with like finding men in general or like men coming up to me which is crazy because like i don't like to approach men but i want them to approach me but like i have i this is something that has been puzzling me and i really want to figure out like this is my personal image journey is to try and figure out what it is about me that is making me look so mean because i do not do that intentionally you know what's fun you know what i think it is is when you feel like i'll say like a lack of like confidence like anxiety or just mm-hmm. walking into the room you literally like you your whole body is like cowering inside of you mm-hmm. i'll say that like list okay. uh, image yeah. you're cowering inside of yourself so you're like fuck, fuck, fuck. Mm-hmm. like you know you're like oh crap crap crap, crap. So i'm scared and so you like you put on like a neutral quotations face and it okay. doesn't give off anything so you're radiating what you have on your inside so mm-hmm. that cower is like exiting out of your body right if that makes sense yeah. i know i'm getting like extreme no, 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 yeah, but yeah. like it's like that cowering in you is like radiating radiating out of your body so mm-hmm. that's all you're like pushing out like you're not giving like you know you walk in a room you look at somebody and smile yeah. it's a different it's a different thing you walk right. in a room you look down at the ground and you walk in it looks like you don't want to be talked to yeah because i like i guess i just really wear yeah. my emotions on my face yeah it's like you're just wearing your face like wearing your inside i don't know how to stop that Oh, <laughs> that's, that's something I'm really trying to invest in because I truly do not. I'm trying to figure out how to stop that because I literally people tell me that all the time and they've been telling me that for years. Yeah. So I think it's like a mm, like a fear technique, a fear tactic. It's mm-hmm. like, oh, I'm scared. I'm scared. Like like Christy, like when you, she sees these new people, she like looks like terrified mm-hmm. and like cowers in the corner. Like, yeah, but she wants to play with everybody. Right. Does that make you think you she wants to play with you? Absolutely not. Right. <laughs> And instead of looking scared, I look, don't come near me. Yeah. Like, girl. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know. We'll have to well, figure it out. Well, at least you know. Oh, yeah. I know it. I know it. Because <laughs> so, I'm like, I've been told so many times, it's hard for me to You just got to look, look around the room and then just smile at one person and keep it moving. Start wearing a... Uh-uh. Mm-hmm. It's giving creepy. Teeth. <laughs> Guys, I'm giving a creepy <laughs> Teeth. Smirk Teeth. at somebody and be like... See, my smirk is like a when I do that, it's like like it's not a true smile. So it's like I don't know how to do, like when I'm not feeling like truly smiling. It's like a mm, mm-hmm. I'm just doing this to you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm. I told you that Midwest passive aggressive be jumping out of it. The what? The, your Midwest passive aggressive. Oh, I guess. <laughs> I guess Hi. it's Midwest to me. <laughs> so hard truth. Sometimes you really gotta fake it till you make it, baby. Cool. I can't see that far, so let me pull I'm it on weak. my phone. My hard truth was you can always change your image. So if you try something and you don't like it, dust yourself off and try again. <laughs> dust yourself off and try again. Try again. Got a little cheesy. <laughs> a little cheesy. I am weak. 
Um, well, thanks for tuning in this week, guys. Um, if you would like to check us out on YouTube, you can do so at She Likes It Hard Podcast. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, if you listen to us on Apple Podcasts or Spotify, please leave a rating <laughs> and review. Please, 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 please. It helps. Um, and then if you would like to submit a hard ask, please do so at She Likes It Hard Podcast at gmail.com. Or you can DM us, or because apparently y'all don't know this because people have asked me this. Or you can DM us on any of our socials as she likes an underscore hard. This is every episode. I don't know why y'all don't know this. Um, and while you're at it, please follow us. <laughs> Thanks. Um, so <laughs> have a great rest of your week. Happy oh, Tuesday. Lord. Thanks for tuning in. We love you guys. And we'll talk to you next week. Bye. Bye. Have a good day.